Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a mod called the MAZ SMC City Bus. There's only one option we can choose, but we can change the color if we want to. Now, in the pictures, it has this nice yellow on it, but when you spot it up, it's white, and I want that nice yellow, so we're going to make it yellow because, kind of funnily, yellow is not one of the choosable colors down here. So we're going to have to just kind of pull the cursor in the yellow area right there, make it nice and bright, and that's pretty good. It's almost a school bus yellow, but it is yellow, and that's what I wanted. So now we'll go ahead and take a closer look at this thing. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the side of this thing. Now, one thing that's really neat is if you hit Y, the doors all open. And if you hit it again, they all close. And it's perfectly in sync. And it's kind of mesmerizing just watching them open and close and open and close. And you can make them do like a little dance like that even, which actually shakes the bus a little bit because the doors are moving back and forth so violently. I didn't notice that earlier. So we'll leave the doors open right now. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the front of the bus. So it's a pretty flat faced bus with a bunch of lights, little itty bitty lights on the front. It kind of looks a little funny with that kind of setup to me. And then over on the side, we have big glass windows so you can see inside what all those people are doing on the bus. And then the rear, yup, that looks like the rear of a bus. Sure, why not? Now let's do something fun. Let's pretend we're a real passenger going on the bus. So they pull up, you get in, be like, hey, here's the money for whatever, I'm on the bus now. And you go to your seat and you want to sit in the very back so you make your way to the back. And then you sit down and you're on the bus staring at this giant cube which i assume is where the engine is just because i don't know where else the engine could possibly be and the bus driver he's a little crazy he just takes off doors are still open three and a half passengers fall out he's going about 20 miles per hour then he realizes oh yeah i should close these doors and then he does and he also realizes oh yeah that's a really tight fit i should slow down will it even fit oh my goodness this thing wow this is like threading the needle right here oh my goodness look at this look how tight this is we got like an inch on both sides of the wheels right here. That's like not even an inch. It's basically scraping that side. We got about an inch that is threading the needle. There is no way I could do that in real life. But thanks to this being a video game, I made it through and we can keep on driving. So now we're going to get this thing up to highway speeds and actually has decent acceleration up until about 50 miles per hour. And then it just kind of putters out and it can't do much more after that. And it kind of shifts in the sixth gear at that same time, too. I think it's right there. It's going to shift. Okay. Well, that was close. But at this point, we're not going to go much faster than that. You're going to see we're going to hold it about 50 to 53 miles per hour for the most part. Even though I'm still flooring it, trying to go as fast as possible. So, let's go ahead and wreck this thing. I see a beautiful target straight ahead. We're going to crash in that electricity pole right there. I'm going to do the side camera here so we can see the bus get a little bit shorter, hopefully, here. 16 times slow-mo and shrink that bus yep <laughs> that looked like it worked the bus is now a few inches shorter can we get it back onto the highway to keep driving let's see come on i need some traction in this dirt ah uh, those rear wheels are in the air come on what kind of differential this thing got one that cannot get any traction there we go there we go haha -ha. all right i'm assuming this thing's gonna drive really crooked because the whole front end is a little bit crooked and cockeyed and yeah it's going to the left hard but we can keep it going straight and probably get it up to speed because look we're already up to 40 miles per hour so we'll get it up to another 50 miles per hour for the next crash we'll try to do a different looking crash than what we just did although there's not too much to crash into around here unfortunately like yeah i could crash into the side of this thing but that's not exactly the best kind of crash for a bus there's something we could crash into though you see there is this little area that sticks out right there it's kind of a border between me and the dirt we can go ahead and smack into that thing we're gonna do how about eight times slow-mo right here and then let's see what happens what oh, we're riding up on it this is how you bust uh oh i think we're gonna get stuck though yeah we're not gonna grind we're gonna get stuck come on keep going keep going keep going nope don't we can't do it wait it moved for a second, now it is stuck. Although I think it could still drive if you really wanted to get it out of this. Let's do a little bit of ugly maneuvers right here. We're going to tip it over and then we're going to upright it. Because that seems like the easiest way to maneuver a vehicle this big. They go like that and then perfect. Alright, we did lose a bumper or something there. But the important question, does it still drive? Yes. Yes, it does. In fact, it drives just as good as before. It didn't really do that much damage right there. Although you look at the front, it is mangled up there. The driver, he'd be like half sticking out the bus apparently. But it's good to go. There's another place to crash right there. That looks like a good target. Gonna make this bus shrink a little bit more. 
Yeah, that one might do some real serious damage to the suspension though because it hit so low on the bus. Oh, it's tipping slowly. Doesn't even look like a bus anymore. Almost looks like a camper the way that top part's sticking out so far. Now let's try to get this thing upright again. Could pull it back and then onto your wheels, soldier. Can you drive? It can still drive somehow. Oh my goodness. You are one durable bus. I mean, it makes sense. Everything that puts down the power is all in the rear, so the front can get mangled before anything really bad happens to the rear. I'm surprised I have such good steering still, to be honest with you. I forget the steering would be gone at this point, but nah, we can still steer it. It's just pulling really hard to the left still. We'll have another impact at the end of this thing. We're just going to go straight ahead into that wall. Try to make that top part get flat with the bottom part. Oh, we are losing speed bad. Come on, downshift, bus. Downshift, please. Downshift. Automatic transmissions, man. I swear. Anyways, there's the crash. Had a little bit of slow-mo, but not too much because I didn't think too much interesting would happen. And now the bus is a little bit flatter. Perfect. And, of course, it still drives. Kind of getting sick of driving a bus that's pulling so hard to the left, though. So we'll just freshen this thing up. And then let's get the big turbo on it so you can see what it looks like with the bigger turbo. So we're going to go the T600 turbocharger. And as far as I know... Those are the same turbocharger options you have on the T-Series. So as you saw, you start with the T-400, but you also have a T-350 and a T-300 if you want to go really slowly. But I don't. I want to go fast. So the T-600 gives us almost 75 PSI of boost. Actually, it's a little bit over 75 PSI of boost. So lots of boost, and we're already up to 50 miles per hour, and it's going to keep pulling. It's going to pull all the way up to about 60 miles per hour, and when it gets to about 60, it kind of levels off there. So yes, it only really increases the top speed by about 10 miles per hour, but... That's highway speeds. You know, 50 miles per hour feels like you're going too slow on the highway. 60 feels like you're good. And I know it was kind of slowed down right there. That's because it was uphill. Now it's downhill, so it's accelerating faster than it should. Combine those two speeds in your mind, that's about what speed you'd actually get without all these hills in the way. But you see, we're easily going 60 miles per hour. Question is, can we do high-speed maneuvers with the bus? The answer is yes, you actually can. It's just really frightening that you're going to crash into something or spin out really easily. All right, let's go this way right here. High speed maneuver. Oh, I overestimated the cornering capabilities just a little bit. I want to go and try to climb the mountain. That's what we're going to do with this bus. So we're going to have some real tight corners we're going to have to try to do. I have no idea how well this is going to go. Tell me to go 15 miles per hour. I say, yeah, tough with that. We're going to go at least 30, hopefully. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I was so close to hitting the wall. I thought I was for sure going to hit it. That was... Pretty impressive how well this thing cornered right there. I mean, it's like, it's like, yeah, but any vehicle could corner that good. But it's a bus. You would not expect a bus to be able to do what it just did right there. That time I took it way too far on the inside and kind of rode up onto the dirt, which slowed me down because I had no traction in the dirt. But still, very nice cornering from this bus. It is surprisingly capable and surprisingly fun, if not frightening, to drive. Like, just the massive size of it makes it so frightening. Because everything you do, you're like, oh, am I going to hit my front? Oh, but my rear, my rear going to hit? All the time, you're just thinking, how can you hit in 10 different locations on the bus? And right here, we're going to really cut this corner. Whoa, that was a little scary. I didn't want to tip the bus. Okay, now this looks like it's going to be a challenge. we got to swing this thing out as far as we possibly can and then dive in. That's, like, exactly what I wanted to do. And even then, it doesn't quite make the corner. Not quite. We gotta do a little bit of extra maneuvers right here. So I'll back it up. And that should be good. Don't wanna back it up too much. And up on the corner a little bit. Up on the other corner. We made it though. So yeah, it doesn't do the greatest through here. But this is kinda difficult even with like a lead sled. This thing is doing impressive for a bus, all things considered. So here we go. Really out on the edge. And then tight cornering. Whoa, that was a little too tight right there. I kind of got this thing popped into the air because I hit the corner right in the apex in the middle of the bus. Come on. Stay on it. Stay on it. Oh, it's not going to make it. We're like bottoming out the front and losing the front bumper. Okay, come on. Go. Accelerate. I'm accelerating right now, but we can't get traction. Come on, bus. There we go. Yes, it can make it. It is not good on the bus, but it can make it up this hill. Which I think is mighty impressive. Now, why do we climb this hill? Obviously, so we can climb down it in stupid ways. So we're going to save this spot and we'll do a couple of jumps off the hill. We're not going to be going very fast. We're just basically going to be rolling down it, but we will hit some trees or something at a good speed, I would think. So here we go. Whoop! We just kind of bottomed out right there. 
All right, with a vehicle this long, I guess it's going to bottom out a lot. Now we're just rolling down the hill. Just keep rolling, Bussy. Come on. Uh, uh, no, it's done. Get back up to the top of the hill, and we're going to get as much space as possible to get up to speed. So I'm going to just go ahead and do a little bit of maneuvering here and stop before we roll off the edge. Go, go, go. Come on, don't roll off the edge. There, go. Accelerate. Good job, Bus. We'll just go straight right here and see where this takes us. Nice, nice, got a little bit of air. Oh, this is actually going surprisingly well. Oh, now it's not. Something caught me on the underside of the bus, I think, or... Yeah, you can see right there, it got stretched out because something grabbed it. That was doing pretty well, too. How unfortunate. All right, last time. This time, how about we go off a completely different side? So we'll have to do maneuvering again. Oh, this is really tight. Uh-oh, I'm stuck, ain't I? Ha! I didn't think that would happen, but yeah, we're stuck, so just a little bit of help is needed. Makes it faster this way anyways, probably. Here we go. And go ahead and go back to the bus. Back it up. And straight down this hill. We're going to try to go down the hill, but obviously we're going to be going too fast, and we're going to fly off the edge. And we're going to see what happens. There we go. That wasn't so bad. That, well, we ended up on our side, but still, that wasn't so bad. Anyways, I think we're about done at this map. I'm going to go to grid map to do some more crash testing like things with this because this one needs a big wide open area to really test it out. And we're going to do the most violent kind of testing first. So we're going to grab the bus and we're going to get it in aquamarine blue. It sounds really, really fancy, but it really just means really blue, blue. So next we'll go ahead and grab the cannon so we can shoot this thing. And this should do a pretty good amount of damage to it, I would think. We gotta line up the cannon. I could try to drive it, but the cannon kind of sucks for driving. So here's the easy solution. You grab it by the butt and rotate it. And then it'll be lined up real easy and pretty fast too. Perfect. So I'll save this spot so I can shoot it multiple times if I want to. First shot, we'll do it with some slow-mo. So we'll line up the camera right here so you can see the shot. 16 times slow-mo and go. Oh, not bad, not bad. It actually held up a lot better than I expected it to. As the cannon just rolls away. And now keep shooting it over and over and over and over and over. Oh, we had the rear wheel come off. Don't think it's going to drive anymore, but <laughs> we did destroy it to bits. Can we put down power to the wheel that's left? Nah. That is some um, serious damage to the bus, though. All right, now let's try it from a different angle. We're going to try it going straight into the front of the bus, and we're going to see what that can do. I'm curious, if it's glass at the front, can we actually shoot through the glass and shoot the cannon into the bus or will it get stuck? Let's find out. Got to do maneuvering, maneuvering, maneuvering. And forward, and we should be lined up. Want it to be as straight as possible, though, so it can actually get to the back of the bus. That looks pretty good. We'll save that spot just in case things go wrong. And then back to the cannon. And then three, two, one, eight times, 16 times slow-mo, fire. Well, we hit it a little bit too low, but that's all we saved beforehand. So we'll go ahead and reset both of those. We're going to go to the cannon and we're going to lift it up just a little bit to make it uh, hit a little higher in the bus. So try right there. Same thing. 16 times slow-mo. 3, 2, 1, go. That's right in the middle. Unfortunately, it could not actually go into the bus. It was stopped right there. And bus, stop rolling away. I'm about to put your parking brake on if you keep rolling like that. I think it was about right there, wasn't it? So parking brake on. Get the cannon back, and we're going to keep firing it a few times, and i got to raise it every time, annoyingly. So raise, raise, raise. Fire! Reset. Raise. Fire! And just a question of how much damage can we do to this thing, and then still have it drivable? I think it should still drive at this point, but let's go ahead and make sure. So all wheels are attached. Yeah, there's no reason for this not to drive. It's just going along perfectly fine, even though the front has been mangled. All right, we're not going to even do the raising it. We're just going to keep shooting. And then, oh, my goodness. Now it's really mangled. Can it drive now? Let's see. Yep, it can still drive somehow. Very, very impressive. It's even driving pretty straight, actually. Look at this. Hold on. There, I'm just letting it drive. Yeah, it's pulling to the left, but that's pretty straight for how mangled up that front it looks right there. Couldn't even tell that was a bus coming from the front. Uh, one more crash with this thing right into these. And apparently we're going to roll it over too because why not? 
We'll restart it then, and how about we try a suspension test with the bus? I haven't thought about doing that yet, but that sounds fun. So, going around the cannonball, and we'll try the suspension test right in the middle. Let's see what it does. Not bad, actually. It's uh, doing a pretty good job going over these bumps. Lots of movement in the body, but it means it's more comfortable probably for the passengers who still probably have a sore neck after that because of the speeds we were going at, but it's still decent. There's no way it's going to make the loop. There's no way. Yeah, not a chance. In fact, I can't even get traction on the loop right there to stop myself from rolling. So instead, we're just going to land on our roof, which actually gives us pretty cool looking damage and gives me an idea. We should damage up the roof of this thing. So we'll keep using this bus, but we're going to need one in a different color for variety's sake. So we'll get this one in fire red because that's totally the color a bus should be. And then we're going to go to the fire red bus. Actually, we'll go to the the blue one and we're gonna raise the camera right above it like so and we're gonna try to just raise the camera straight back and we're gonna go pretty high in the air so right about there look pretty good and then we're gonna move it forward just a bit so that should be good teleport the bus and then let's see what happens here where is the bus is it close it's coming in and it looks like it's lined up pretty well it's gonna really wreck the roof here nice landing that was like perfect alignment and the strength of the roof was actually pretty good right there. It held up. Wow. You know what that means, right? We need to get this bus in the air higher. So bring it back into the air, freeze physics, and then just keep raising it into the air more. A lot. Way up there. Hopefully it's still lined up. Twirling all over the place. Go back to the blue one. And then let's see how well lined up this is. Still pretty good. And that's what I wanted to see. There's some good damage to the bus, but again, held up pretty well. So, it's time to go all out with this. We'll stick the red bus in the air, we're gonna go to the blue bus, and then we're gonna increase gravity quite a bit. We're not gonna go crazy and do like sun gravity, but we're gonna increase it to 50, which is about five times more than Earth. And then we'll unfreeze physics, and the bus should be coming down much faster than before. So we'll have a nice camera angle for this one. We're gonna do 100 times slow-mo here, so we can really see this happening. That looks like a beautiful camera angle to watch it get crushed. And it's going to have impact in three, two, one. Boom. Now that's what I wanted to see. That is how you crush the roof of a bus. Yes, it's unrealistic because gravity was significantly stronger than it is in real life. But that roof has been crushed. And now part two of the question is, can we still drive the lower bus? So we'll get the... I think this is the red one, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, that's the red one. We'll get the red one out the way and then quickly drive blue one. Oh no, the blue one's engine is even dead. Unfortunately, it's not going anywhere as I stack another bus right on top of it. I mean, that's the more realistic way of doing it, by the way, is you just keep dropping bus after bus and gradually damage it, which sounds fun enough to do if the bus would stay in the same spot. But unfortunately, with the bus tipping over like that, I don't think it'll be possible. Let's see if it does it every time or if it was just like a one time thing right there. Come on, no tippies. Now it's going to tip pretty much every time it looks like. Might be able to hit it on the side and tip it back on the other way though. Let's see. Is it going like, to clip it here? And no, that didn't work. <laughs> we are destroying the bus up though. Just dropping the bus on it again and again. Hey, it did it eventually. It did get it upright. Now hit it on the roof again. Obviously, there's no way this thing's going to drive. But I'm having a good old time with it. And now it's back onto its other side. All right, flip it back onto the wheels. Well, it's kind of... So twisted, it's half on its wheels, half on its side. And at this point, I know there's no way this thing will drive, but we gotta see what can it do. You know, it can accelerate a little bit, I guess, and that's just about it. Oh wait, there we go. Now I can accelerate a little bit, and that's just about it. I was actually on the cannon over there, which I forgot was even around. But yeah, that bus ain't going nowhere. That was fun to do. All right, we'll reset him, and then get this bus out of the way before it gets crushed. Accelerate like your life depends on it, because it does. Ooh, almost made it out. Ah, uh, yes, this is the new aerodynamic bus. Much more aerodynamic than the old model. Unfortunately, it's just as slow as it's always been because what I want to do is I want to go to the end of this place so we can have a couple of collisions between multiple vehicles. It just takes forever to get there. Even though we're going 40 miles per hour, it feels like we're going like 20 with this thing because it's so big. Everything feels so slow. When we get here, though, we might as well throw in a quick crash right here into the wall. Should be a good one because it's going to be a little too short. So it's going to give you that camper on the back of a truck kind of look after it's done being deformed, right? Let's see, back it out and then taking a peek. Yep, that's exactly what that looks like. Looks like it has a little like 
a window at the top where there'd be a bed or something. It looks exactly like what you would see on that kind of thing. That's awesome, except they won't steer, so I'm going to reset that and then kind of maneuver it into position for some crashes. Like right about there, that should be good. We'll save that spot. Gonna get this red one we gotta put it into position because it's still in the air. So right there, reset, realign, and then it's ready to go. Come on, realign, get some traction going. There you go, and save that spot. And then we gotta tell the AI to come at me. So they should be chasing me and I'm gonna go right at them. And we should be able to have a head-on collision with relative ease we should be going at a pretty decent speed too we're gonna to be going about 40 miles per hour each so we should have a lot of force going into this equation right here actually we're gonna be going a little bit over 40 we're gonna be going about 45 what are they doing oh no well this is gonna it could work out hold on this could work out look at this we hit them right there in the corner and that's still a nice looking crash not as direct as I was hoping but I think if they hit head on they actually would not have done that much damage to each other because you see right there, they are still pretty undamaged. Although they are stuck together annoyingly, so I can't even separate them properly, but you can see what it looked like. Not much damage to the rest of the bus, so I'll reset everything, and then we're going to try something a little different. Instead of using a bus versus a bus, why don't we get my benchmark vehicle, the T-Series with the cement mixer, and we're going to crash that into the bus and see how well it does there. The AI is already coming at me, so I don't need to do anything about them, just let them drive. I'm going to drive two, and we should have an impact before you know it. Well, okay, these are slow vehicles. It'll take a while. Looks like we're going to be going about the same speed as each other, though. I might be a few miles per hour slower. I think the mass of the two vehicles should be similar, though. So they should pretty much stop right where they impact each other. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much. And wow, look at the bend in the T-Series. The whole rear end is just lifting into the air. I think the T-Series kind of got the better of that well no oh my goodness look they're pushing me and i can't push back because my car is ruined mine looks a lot better because the engine sticks out their engine's in the back so theirs looks a lot worse that's what it is all right resetting everything then and for the final crash we need to line up a bus i shouldn't have hit tab right there so we want it to be perpendicular to the path of my vehicle and then we're going to go at it with the t-series we're going to hit right on the side and we should do a good amount of damage to it because we'll be going about 60 miles per hour, I would guess. Just going to take a while to get there. Make sure the parking brake is on. Parking brake's on. We're good to go. And now we just got to get up to speed. Oh, I just hit tab again. Stop hitting buttons, YBR. Come on, man. All right, so actually it's only going to be about 55 miles per hour. Not quite as fast as I was hoping because there's some bumps here that I'm sure will slow me down. Yeah, they slowed me down a little bit. We actually did get to 60. Awesome. That's the speed I wanted to see. Now right into them. Here you go. Good impact. Alright, how much speed do I still have going after this? Will I crash them into the wall? Four times slow-mo? Probably not. Looks like we're going to stop before we hit the wall. I was a little bit worried about that, but I think we'll clear it. Yep. No problem there. So we can kind of take a look at the bus right here. and Yeah, it's damaged, but it's hard to tell because it's upside down. So I'm going to get the T-Series out the way and then I'm going to flip it upright so we can actually see this properly. So I'm just going to grab it right there and then... Lip. That was a clean flip right there. Oh no. I was so proud of that too. All right, so there you go. There's a look at the damage. Maybe a couple cannons balls worth of damage right there because it was pretty badly hit. And it still somehow manages to drive. Wow. Except it is going really, really crooked. I'm almost full locked to the right just to keep this thing going straight. But I'm just impressed that it's actually able to drive after all that in a somewhat straight line makes you wonder how much could you bend this thing and keep it still driving i really wonder how fast this thing will be able to go because i don't expect it to go that fast but sometimes things surprise me because it has so much mass behind it you just don't know for sure so how about we get it in flame orange and that should be about where i want it to be i would hope looks like that's pretty close actually nice i don't have to do any extra maneuvering just down the hill and i thought i picked orange this looks red oh yeah maybe i am colorblind i don't know Anyways, here we go! Full speed ahead, a little bit of a bounce right there. We're gonna over rev this engine and blow it up. I don't care. Here we go. 90 miles per hour and 100. I wanna over rev this engine and make it blow up now. Oh, by the way, the bus does have custom engine sounds. I've never mentioned that because I was so distracted by the fact. Ooh, look at the bus. And apparently, actually, the engine kind of locks up when it explodes in this one. That was interesting. We still could go pretty fast, though. We're gonna be going about 100 and. It's so actually not that fast for a leap of death, but we're going to be going about 120 miles per hour. It's decent enough. 
We're going to have impact right into the wall, and it should do quite a bit of damage still. We're just at the edge of the wall. Still going to make full impact, though. 100 times slow-mo right here. The angle of the wall means it hits the roof first, so it's going to be more aerodynamic. All right, front half of the bus where the driver would be, gone. First row of passengers, gone. Next row of passengers, maybe still okay? Yeah, they're okay. Like, in terms of being in one piece, not safety-wise, but they're not squished. But that was kind of disappointing because it was so slow, so we're going to do a little bit of cheating around here to make it go faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get it driving, and we're going to put it into neutral real quickly so it doesn't shift on its own and mess things up. I'm going to set gravity down to about negative 50. That should be good. Uh, now this is brutal slope speeds. You're going 220, 230. All right, with this thing crashing, I expect this thing to be pretty much all the way squished. Maybe like the last row or two of chairs will be left, but at this kind of speed, I don't expect it to hold up very well at all. So there's the last crash, and here is the new one right next to it at double the speed pretty much. And it doesn't actually look like it's going to hit that much faster, but gravity is going to definitely pull it in harder. It has to. Yeah, see, there we go. That's... Yeah, it's hitting hard. Okay. Every single passenger has been squished. Even the one in the very back seat has been squished. I have made the bus into this little itty bitty cube. I say that was the spectacular crash that we all wanted to see from Brutal Slope. So let's hope Leap of Death can be at least half as spectacular as we make our way over to there. And for some reason, I always can't find it. One thing I didn't think about though is how is it going to spawn up here and fit? Uh, probably it just won't. I'm thinking it's just not going to fit. Well, it, it kind of fit. Come on, get yourself out of there. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're free. We're free. Wait, we're going to get stuck right there. We almost seesawed. We're good. All right, perfect. We're actually going decently fast for driving a bus. Well, that's unfortunate. Give it one more shot, and if it does that again, we'll just kind of drive off the edge instead of the ramp. But I do like hitting the ramp because it gets you a little bit farther before the first impact, and it gives you nice alignment, too. Try hitting it more of an angle to try to maybe make sure it doesn't bottom out like that. Oh, no! It's just too long. The rear end is so long, it's going to scrape. All right, well, I tried. Off the edge we go. I think we'll do the left edge, even though it really does not matter. I'll try to tap the ramp just a little bit to get it into a nice roll of sorts. So there's a little bit of a roll. I didn't want to hit it too much though because I was afraid of doing the same thing again. And we'll let this one go in, how about since it's going to be a pretty slow impact, we'll do this one at 8 times slow-mo here. There we go. There goes a couple of wheels. Nice indentation in the bus and it can go all the way down at, uh, we'll let it go at full speed here, why not? I think the impact's going to be pretty gentle, actually, because it's such a big object, it kind of floats down. It just doesn't seem like it's going to have a huge hit, and ooh, it's already stuck. Well, that's a little disappointing. Four Leap of Deaths in one video? Yeah, because the first three kind of failed, but I want to leave them in for reasons. Like, I wanted to make sure you would still get stuck, and then I also wanted to leave that first one in because it looked cool in the first part. All right, different angle, here we go. This time, no slow-mo, we're just going to let it go. And whatever it hits, it hits. Whatever it misses, it misses, and that'll be the end of the video. There's a good hit right in the front. And it's got a nice curve to it now. Can we keep curving it up? Ooh. It's like an S shape now. I think it's going to stop right here, actually, isn't it? Come on, keep going. Uh, not quite. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. This video's already been pretty long, but till next time, it's YBR. I'll see ya.